Okay, hi. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to install the Signin environment. So open your favorite browser and go to signin.com. So if you don't know this software, this is a Linux-like environment for Windows and uh, it's a collection of tools which provide Linux look and feel. So you will have a terminal, a bash window, and in that uh, you can use uh, Linux commands like uh, find, grab, and so on. So from here, download the setup that exists and save it somewhere. Okay. And use open your favorite file manager instead of Explorer. So instead of this, that I find completely unusable, <laughs> I will use an orthodox file manager called Total Commander. So setup exe was saved to this directory. It's here. And on drive C, I will create a subdirectory for Signin. And we will put everything here. So I will move setup exe to this to this directory and I will launch it. Okay, done. Here choose next and install from internet. Okay, root directory. We want to install everything to drive C in the subdirectory SIGWIN. We can leave it under default values next. Local package directory. Mm. Here you can specify a temp directory, for example, c slash temp. Okay, next. Direct connection, next. And here you have to choose a mirror. <coughs> uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose. And now you have a list of packages. Mm, by default, several packages are already selected. So for a basic installation, you can simply press next. And it will download the most basic packages. So now it will take some time. So I will now pause the recording and uh, when it finishes we will continue. Ok, we are back from the pause. So the installation has just finished. We can create an icon on the desktop, so finish. Ok. So now, in the Sigwin directory on drive C, we have a basic installation. And uh, the next step is that we should add this bin directory to the path of Windows. So go to open this system properties icon. You can find it in the control panel. System, double click here advanced tab and here environment variables and in the system variables choose path and edit it and add c slash sigwin slash bin to the beginning 
of the list uh, why should we add it to the beginning because here in the system 32 directory there are also some programs that can uh, cause a conflict with the SIGWIN environment so in system 32 there is a program called FIND which is different from the SIGWIN uh, software so in order to avoid this confusion it is better to add it to the front so when you want to use FIND you will use the you will use sequence find okay okay again okay it's done if you had the total commander opened then close it and open it again now it will see the new path and here you can start a simple shell the best shell now it's too wide if you click on this part right click and you choose properties and layout and window size you will be able to resize the window so make it a bit smaller okay and here choose the second option save properties for future window with same title good now we have a nice uh, console and here you can use the well-known Linux commands like ls and everything else okay if I want to use the program called file for instance it is not found because it is not part of the basic installation so let's see how to add uh, new files, new softwares, new programs from the Sigwin repository so launch again, set up the texer next install from internet root directory, ok c slash tmp, it will use the previous values ok direct connection it, this mirror is correct for us and uh, now we will have the list of packages again now they are put in a hierarchy they are categorized but if you choose a view then you can see their list in alphabetical order so we want to install file so let's go to F and yeah, it's here so it is not installed uh, you can see it is skipped but if you click on it, left click it will choose this version if you click again it will choose an older version again, skip so this the newest version will be fine and it will be installed in binary format that's good for us so next and it will simply download this new piece of software finish and for instance Linux file ok file exists now so from now on uh, you will be able to use Linux commands if you do not use uh, total commander then you can also launch a bash shell from here run simply type bash and you have a nice window with bash okay so that's all